surprised, Joe, if we see him put on his back at any point tonight. Incredible takedown defense, great balance, very solid base, an outstanding sprawl that's very quick and athletic. And for a lot of fighters, they waste a lot of energy trying to bring this man down. Got to think the smart approach will be to see if you can get the shot early, but if it doesn't materialize, go to plan B. This guy's takedown defense north of 90%. Some of the best takedown artists in the world have failed to take him down. This guy is one of the toughest guys I have ever seen inside the Octagon. His ability to absorb punishment and then come back from it is just absolutely incredible to watch. So as this confident young fighter makes the walk here tonight, he's probably thinking, I'm gonna get my opponent to the mat. You know what? He's not gonna be able to get up. And I think for a lot of fighters who have dealt with the top game of this young man, they just can't get out from underneath him. He controls you, keeps his weight on you, and, and he just uses his hips beautifully to maintain a dominant position. Certainly, he has sapped willpower and gas tanks throughout his MMA career, and at times, guys, have to give up. This guy is an arm bar and a leg lock specialist. In every fight that you see him in the octagon, he looks to secure a limb and finish with a submission. Or Taylor once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 133 pounds. Fighting out of Nagoya, Japan, Bo Crusher. And now he can his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, Grandmaster. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. You ready to fight? Ready. Four. Here we go. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. He got tagged there. And he eats a right hand there. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Him. Good defense there. He gets hit for an opening down low. Caught him with a punch. Not there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Slips. Good punch. Under three minutes remain in round one. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Oh! Flipped him with the jab. And he connects there. That one hurt. Really missed with that right hand. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Push kick there to the body. That one appears to stun him. This could be it right here. Now goes in and secures the takedown. And he's trying to pass. And busy as he looks to improve position here. And he switches his stance yet again. Oh, going to the head kick. Now it's there. Tags him. He's orthodox now. Punch will work right through the guard. Oh, beautiful takedown. Looks like he's got a submission locked up. He's got this inverted triangle locked in. 
getting tight. Getting tighter. over but he sunk in the submission and got the victory well yeah joe you could tell he was going to stop at nothing to leave the judges out of this one here tonight he was focused on getting the win and getting it by submission and you saw him in hot pursuit of it much earlier in the round but he didn't want to rush it then there was an opening there late largely caused by a beautiful setup and the submission comes late in the round high level stuff there And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career. And it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 51 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a reverse triangle. Red Master! So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And how good was that? I mean, you talk about maximizing a UFC showcase, and that's a great example of doing just that. You see.